If Apple is abandoning QuickTime for Windows, you should too. I'm Bridget Carey. This is your CNET Update. These days, we have to watch out for all sorts of online threats. There's ransomware and phishing schemes, and now you can't even trust Apple's QuickTime video player for Windows. The United States Department of Homeland Security is warning Windows users to uninstall QuickTime because security experts say Apple is no longer patching bugs. And two critical bugs have been discovered in the software that could be used to attack your computer. Security firm Trend Micro says Apple is not going to patch these problems. But as of this report, Apple has not publicly announced it is abandoning the program. This warning is just for Windows, not the Mac version of QuickTime. For Windows QuickTime users, all it would take to get infected with malware is to accidentally open a bad file or visit a malicious website. Now, aside from QuickTime, Apple is also cutting off your iTunes allowance. The company is ending support for the iTunes allowance program on May 25th. It was a feature that started in 2003. It let parents add money into an iTunes account every month so kids could buy things without having to ask parents for a credit card each time. It seems Apple rather have customers use family sharing to manage purchases on multiple accounts or use iTunes digital gift cards. And Apple may be changing something else soon, the name of its desktop operating system. Right now, Apple's desktop computers run OS X, but it could be changed to Mac OS. The blog 9to5Mac spotted some language on Apple's new environmental page that referred to the software as Mac OS. And last month, there was a document found in a system folder that also said Mac OS. So it would fit the naming scheme with the other systems, iOS, watchOS, tvOS, Mac OS. But Apple has bigger things to focus on in the next few days. The encryption battle between Apple and the FBI continues Tuesday, moving from the courtroom to Congress. Apple and FBI representatives will be testifying Tuesday before the House Energy and Commerce Committee, addressing the debate over the use of encryption and how it could impact law enforcement. That's all for this Tech News Roundup. You can head to CNET.com for the latest. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.